Hey guys, Jose Nine Shiba here. Now today we're gonna review Joker. So apparently, I'm actually gonna say this. I actually had to push this back because of one reason. The reason why I had to push this back was because the reason why I had to push it back was because I wasn't feeling that. I'm, I'm not trying to say I'm sick, but I tried to say that. I didn't feel like doing a video because I felt so, let's say, the only way I can describe it is I felt so little, literally, literally, literal, uh, literally felt like I couldn't do a video because I felt so let's say, lazy, and now I'm going to do this. So let's get on to my Joker review. Now on to the review. Okay, so since there's going to be no spoiler, I will include a spoiler talk of how they do the Joker. Maybe, if you want to see a spoiler talk. And not to mention this, okay. Not to mention the fact that what this movie did. So, if you don't know what this movie is about, it's literally about the Joker's origin. And, I forgot to mention, there could be some spoilers, so spoiler alert, so let's get on to the story. So, story, we're with Arthur, who is, before, you're gonna, before we get on to where, what he becomes next. So, he basically wanted, so what he does is, in the beginning, he gets beat up by a, um, I think, yeah, like a, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like teenagers or something like that. But, however, when he get beat, got beat it up, it was... He was kind of reported to his boss's office, in which his boss gave him something, like gave him a gun. And I was like, what the heck? Why would they give him a gun, first of all? And secondly, it felt like giving him a gun felt way too weird because apparently I never thought of what they thought of what they were doing like giving him a gun and then the next scene is he meets a girl which after he meets a girl he does this after we get to his mother's which where they're on the Murray show which they're watching the Murray show heck not to mention after the Murray show I think that's what it's called, The Murray Show. And they also do this. They also just basically do this for the Joker. They basically give him, mm, I'd like to say, a good way of what to do with him. So... They also give him, like, a backstory after this. They basically... He basically takes that gun that his boss gave him, which was to a kid's party, which was... They were singing, And you're happy, and you know it, clap your hands. If you're not happy, and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy, and you know you really want to show it. If you're happy, and you know it, clap your hands. And then the gun falls up, and then he gets fired. I was like... What the heck? Why would you breed the gun in the first place? And then while in the subway tunnel, while well, with another girl, while he was in the makeup, he basically does this. Just shoots the three guys in the tunnel. He shoots two of them. The last guy was trying to run away because he doesn't want to get shot. Plus, he also... Not only got shot, but he also accidentally got, let's say, not just got shot, but he also got, um, I don't know what to say. Yeah, he, uh, there we go, he got shot. Not to, not to mention to what he did. Not to mention, he also 
if I can remember correctly, what he does next. He also just does something else. And then there was also another claim going around, like how who killed that those three guys at the subway station. And it was revealed to be Arthur, who actually, the guy, Arthur, who literally killed those guys at the subway station. And then, after they kill him in that subway station, they also do this. Not just after they kill that guy in the subway station, they also, he kills those, and he also ends up doing this next kill. He ends up killing, um, if I remember correctly, he kills that one guy, that one guy who, okay, the next scene was this, before he kills that other guy, he does this, he goes into, like, sneaks into the, he goes to Bruce, to the Wayne Fallacy, he needs Bruce, who, which later is revealed to be the, which, who is, he, I know he's, and to wait until, we get to the spoiler section, more of the spoiler section, I mean, more of the, like, the end of the story section. And then after the story section is where we get to this. We also get into, um, if I had to say what I had to do. And then after that, we also do this. To the spoiler section, we get to the... I don't know what to say, but we get to the next sec next part where he just kills his mom. I think after that he killed his mother. Uh, it was either that after that or before that he killed his mother. And then after he did this, he wanted to be a comedian, and that one girl get following around. I don't know how much depressing he's been, and not to mention, there's something I had to say. There's that Joker. Wait, I don't know. I'm just saying my words. <laughs> what I meant to say is this: that the fact that after what happened, he did that. He did that, and most importantly. They reveal something very cliche after he kills that his boss, that guy who fired him, which I don't know his name. Plus, after, okay, this is brutal. After he murders that guy who, what he, what happened, he also did this. Then after he. Let's say, I don't know what to say, but, however, that's about it, and after the end, he, after he goes to the Murray show as Arthur becomes, you guessed it, the Joker. He's the Joker, and he actually portrays, and the Joker laugh is actually new, it's actually different from other Joker laughs we've seen. Now this Joker is actually scary. And then we get into the end section, which was, I think, how terrible Gotham City is. And they get to one of the clowns, which was literally the beginning of the origin for Bruce Wayne, which who later becomes the Batman. In which Batman does not appear in the movie because, yes, Bruce Wayne does, but Bruce Wayne doesn't appear as Batman in the entire movie because this is the Joker's origin. So that's what I have to say. Now on to what I thought of this. This was very... Good. And also, there's no post credit scene. End credit scene, because I just wanted to know you know for you guys if you wanted to go see this movie. However, this was very good. This was like a very, very good movie. I thought that they hadn't have a chance of, like, betraying the Joker in, like, a realistic fashion of what to do. So... That's the one way how to do the Joker. So, one way to do him was this. 
how they give this movie feels realistic, because it feels like they were just taking well, and and what makes them think makes me think of this is that the fact of how they portrayed Gotham in a real life way it makes me th you think in your head of a question of answering this: What would a real life version of Gotham City look like? That's the best way to portray and what to think of it as. And they also did this for, um, a, I don't know what to say, but they also did this for, um, the Joker. I'll go on to the, the next best things about it. Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix, he did a very good job as the Joker. I'm not gonna lie. He did a very good job as the Joker. This film was the best film I've seen in October. And during Halloween. And heck, I'm not even dressed up for this. I wish I could, but I can't. Also, after what they did to the Joker, they actually managed to portray the Joker in this way, where they would just give realism to a comic book character and make it realistic so that they can know this is going to be like a realistic version of what the Joker is going to be. And the Joker is a comic book character, and this was surprisingly a good way how to portray him. This is the best way to portray him because we know the Joker, if you read the comics, when Batman went dark, the Joker is in fact a scary character and how violent he is. Also, I forgot to mention this. That's what I have to say. And I, this is one way to compare to, like, the Dark Knight trilogy, because the similarities they have is that they both portray the characters and or area in, like, a realistic way. So, I'd be happy to, like, say this. Joaquin Phoenix, you deserve that Oscar. You deserve that Oscar for what you did. You deserve that Oscar for Best Actor of 2019. You nailed the Joker's character. You gave realism a real... portrayed the Joker in a realistic way. You know how to do the Joker in a real life. So you deserve that Oscar. Also, not to say... I forgot... I want to say it. This is literally the second best movie of... Not second, but almost... Tied with Endgame. This is actually tied with Endgame of being the best movie of 2019. Well, because of one reason. The reason why this is tied with Endgame was because they both have messages of realism. And this is, I wouldn't compare it to Endgame, but I mostly compare it to the Dark Knight trilogy because they both have similarities. Like, for example, they both betray Gotham in a realistic way, they betray the characters in a realistic way, and they have dark messages. Like the Joker, I'll say this, for a minute there, I thought this movie was going to be just a origin, or I thought it was going to be a prequel to Batman Begins, because I thought it was going to be just a prequel to back, not prequel, I mean prequel, sorry about it, prequel to Batman Begins. Because you know how in The Dark Knight he talks about how terrible, how bad the city Gotham is? And this is like a good way to betray it because I can compare this to Heath Ledger's Joker. So that's what I'm going to say. This is a realistic version of the Joker. Also, if you have kids, don't take them to go see it because they'll be scared of the Joker. So I would recommend you would think about what to do before your child even though this because this movie is basically very, like, I don't know how to describe it. So that's what I'm going to say. That is my review of Joker. So my positives are this. They portrayed the way they portray Gotham and the Joker in a real-life fashion. Juan Phoenix as the Joker. He was very good. And last but not least... Of how smart writing they did. This was very smart writing. So that's what I had to say. 
Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree or disagree with me? Joseph and Aishiba, I'll see you guys next time. Later!